What's up everybody? Welcome to the Astro Nate channel. Tonight we're gonna be getting ready for galaxy season. So I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my rig. Tonight we're gonna be using the Orion 10 inch Astrograph. We'll be imaging with this Canon XS that I modified with the Bader filter. We're gonna be sending it up on the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. So stick around, should be interesting. Okay, so right here, I'm roughly pointing my mount towards Polaris, and I'm also making sure that my mount is level. Because if your mount's not level, you're not gonna get a good polar alignment. Okay, with these big telescopes, you wanna make sure that they're properly balanced. Because if not, you're gonna have a bad night. Okay, so when I'm balancing out my telescope, I like to start with the telescope first. Before I mess with the, the counterweight or anything. So I get the telescope roughly balanced the best I can. With these big telescopes, it can be a pain. And then I'll start messing with the counterweights and getting it to where it'll stay wherever I would like it to. With the Tonian telescopes, you gotta collimate them. So you gotta line all the mirrors together to make sure you get a good image. So let's see how off this thing is. You turn these knobs right here to rotate the mirror. Not rotate, but like kind of level it out. Then you got your another mirror right here on this thing called a spider. And, but I hope that's not off, because that's pain. But if you look up in there, you can see a little circle on my primary mirror down there. And this smaller mirror has got a little dot on it. So the idea is to put the dot in the center of the circle. So let's try. Dead nuts. Mine wasn't too bad off. I don't know if y'all can see that hole or not. But anyway, the little dot should be in the center of the circle. And then you should get a good image. In theory. back on okay. 
sorry about the AC unit, but tonight for the imaging, I'm gonna be using Backyard EOS. For the guiding, I'm gonna be using PHD2 guider. And of course, for pole alignment, I'm using QHY Pole Master.